What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to learn 15 synonyms for the commonly overused verb to like. This vocabulary can be very useful for your speaking exam, part one, in which you have to talk about your hobbies, interests, etc. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's dive in! So before we get started and look at 15 synonyms for to like, I'm going to give you another verb which is also very common and you know it for sure, to enjoy. An example sentence, I enjoy watching series. Today's examples are gonna be about me, so that you can get to know me a little bit better. So yeah, I enjoy watching series and I do it almost every day because it's a way to keep in touch with English and I think that watching series in English can improve your English a lot. And now let's get started. The first verb on my list today is to be fond of. For example, I'm fond of reading self-help books. And this is one of my favorite self-help books. It's written by Mark Manson. And it's one of those books that you can reread. And it's so inspiring and motivating. If you want to read it, you can find the link in the description box. And now let's move on to our second verb, to be keen on something or on doing something. And it's long E, keen. For example, I'm keen on swimming. And I like swimming both in the sea and in a swimming pool. Now let's move on to our third alternative, to be into something. For example, I'm into yoga. I'm a yogi. Number four, another very common verb, to love. An example sentence, I love sushi. It's my favorite food in the world and I think I would never say no to sushi. Number five, to adore. Lon o, adore. An example sentence, I absolutely adore walking along the beach. If you want to stress it even more, you can add absolutely. Absolutely adore doing something. Number six, to relish, and it must be followed by ing. For example, I relish meeting new inspiring people. Number seven, to savor. For example, I try to savor every moment. Number eight, one of my favorites, to take pleasure in doing something and we can also add to take great pleasure in doing something. For example, I take great pleasure in traveling and getting to know the world. Number nine, to have a penchant for something. Penchant is American pronunciation and ponchon is British. An example sentence, I have a penchant for tough challenges. And the tougher a challenge is, the sweeter a victory tastes. Number 10, we've got an idiom that I like a lot and it's to be your cup of tea. For example, eating in a lovely restaurant is my cup of tea. Number 11, we've got a phrasal verb. 
to lap something up. It means to do something enthusiastically. An example sentence, I lap up listening to music. A catchy song can definitely cheer up my day. Let's continue. Number 12, we've got another phrasal verb to warm up to something or to someone. It means to start liking something or someone. For example, I'm warming up to the idea of traveling on my own. And now we're going to look at three expressions that you can use to talk about experiences that you enjoyed. Number 13, to have a ball, which means to enjoy yourself very much, to have fun and to have a great time. For example, I had a ball snorkeling at the Great Barrier Reef. It was awesome. Two more to go, number 14, to have a whale of a time. For example, I had a whale of a time in Gilimeno, in Indonesia. And last but not least, to have the time of your life. It means to have an extremely enjoyable experience. And the last example, I had the time of my life walking the Inca Trail. Hi, it's me from the future. I was editing the video when I came up with more expressions that I wanted to add and to share with you. So number 16, we can also say to be crazy about something or to be mad about something. And now two examples. Number one, I'm crazy about listening to inspiring podcasts. And one more example, I'm mad about English. I enjoy learning something new every day, new vocabulary, expressions, words. It makes me very happy and it's a never ending journey and it's great. Number 17, to be passionate about something. An example sentence, I'm passionate about hiking. I enjoy being in nature. And the last one, I promise to have a fascination with something, which means to have an intense interest in something. An example sentence, I have a fascination with space. I love movies about space and lately I've become interested in astrology and reading horoscopes. It's fun. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's been short, but I hope useful. And guys, I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. And for that, I encourage you to pick one synonym and to write a sentence about something you love doing. I would love to learn more about you, about your hobbies and interests. So write a sentence and leave it in the comments below. And guys, if you enjoyed this lesson and learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!